What's up everybody, welcome to Midiverse TV. This is part number two of our Synth DIY series, and today we're going to be talking about setting up your workspace. I just want to make a couple of different product recommendations and kind of show you what you're going to need to get started. So the first thing is a good soldering station. We chose the Weller WLC100, and this isn't the most expensive soldering station. It's not the cheapest either. It's kind of middle of the road or lower middle of the road, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the box here and check it out, see what all it comes with. So here's the soldering iron, and then it also comes with a wire holder that connects to the base here, and the base has a on-off switch and also a temperature control knob, and here's the iron. Uh, next thing I would recommend is a good tip cleaner. This is the Hacko 599B tip cleaner. And this thing works wonders. I've tried a couple other ones that didn't really work as well. And I wish I would have just got this one originally. Uh, it's about 10 bucks or something like that. But yeah, once you use it, the solder just kind of falls off the tip right down to the bottom here and you can clean it out. And you can also replace the wires as well uh, if they get worn out. And since I was ordering stuff, I got a couple extra tips as well. Um, these are the fine point tips. I got a ST5 and an ST7. I believe the ST7 is the finest point one. And we got some real thin solder here as well. That's the stuff we've mostly been using. And then I've got a little thicker solder as well. Haven't used that one quite as much. I think I like the thin stuff personally. And then you'll need some snips as well. We've been using these jewelry snips to cut off the legs of capacitors and resistors once we solder them in place. It seems to be working, but I guess I should get something a little nicer than that. Uh, and then of course you'll need some needle nose pliers as well. Those kind of help with nuts and bolts and stuff like that. And this is another product that's really nice. Uh, it's got a nice heavy base here, and you can use these clips to clip PCBs and hold them in place so that you've got a free hand while you're soldering. And it comes with a magnifying glass as well if you're doing some really small parts, so that's nice. And there's an example. You could kind of clip the PCB in there. And I've got it upside down, but you get the idea. You can kind of hold the PCB and solder the parts that you need. And then the last product recommendation I want to make is this storage compartment. This one has 64 different compartments, and I've got them all labeled here for my resistors. Um, I'm probably going to end up getting a couple of these in the long run, but yeah, this is really nice to kind of keep your parts organized, and uh, yeah, there's lots of space. They're about five inches deep, two and a half inches wide, or one and a half inches wide, something like that. But, you know, all these parts are really small, so it works out well. Thanks for watching this episode of Midiverse TV. And check us out on Twitter at Midiverse underscore TV. Thanks for watching. See you next time.